And you may have noticed at this point that the primary record in the application is the trip planner. You keep coming back to this, and this is a centralized, uh, consolidated place to see all the information you're looking for. In this particular video help, we're going to be covering the service manager. The service manager is individual items that are added that are related to the upkeep and maintenance of your particular RV. And this can include uh, things that you may modify or add to the uh, RV where you want to track the actual services that were done, which include obviously service, labor, and materials, and the total cost for those items in a narrative. Now, what this particular video is going to cover is the actual portal record, and I want you to see how that works. So we're going to go to the portal record. Now, understand that in the portal record, you would create no new records in here. You do not add new records. So what you're going to do is you're going to add the new record uh, in the main screen and then come here to view or edit this particular record. Uh, in this case, it shows you parts and labor and the summary. And in this particular field, the service type, it can be scheduled, non-scheduled, or unscheduled, or it can be something that says uh, damage or whatever that's related to the kind of service type that you're going to be doing. Uh, I did not put there a uh, select list in this on purpose because there are many types of things that can happen to a vehicle and that would end up with a huge service list like a tire change or an oil change or just any of the many, many things like a uh, periodic uh, service where it might mean the 60,000 mile uh, tune-up or whatever it might be. So I left that available for you to edit. But down here under the notes, Say, for example, you have done by your uh, particular dealer that you take your RV to, or maybe you do it yourself. You can keep all the information about any service, and obviously, in this case, if it were you're doing it yourself, there would be no labor but just the service parts that you had to put in there. And then you want to list those parts per row of what you did. So, for example, if you were going to change the brakes on a vehicle, it may take more than one line for the different parts and pieces and the cost of those individual items. And you can itemize them in one record or in all the records in the notes as to what you did and what you <laughs> in particular did as far as things you adjusted during the service. So this becomes a very important record. And then again, when you're doing your searches and, and finds, if you're looking for data in a find, you can use either this uh, particular field for uh, looking up maybe all the scheduled things you did or unscheduled, and then within this field, you still have the ability to search for a word or a phrase. For example, oil change. If you wanted to see every time you had a record for an oil change, you could start the find, type in oil change here and do your find by perform find. And every record that had oil change in it would then be uh, listed in your system. And then you could go through those individual records using your next and prior and first record buttons. Uh, you can also use uh, the show hide menu to show the top of the record so you can see if there is a count of how many records were included in that find. And recall, as I showed you before, you want to use the show all records again once you're done with the find to return all the records to the current uh, selection. Uh, there also you can go to the list view, which we're going to be covering next for the service manager uh, information as far as all the services are done, and you can use that to particularly uh, to find, do a find or find particular records, then you can come into the record and review all the record information from the, from the list view. If you have any questions about how to use this uh, particular screen, contact me through the support site.